Welcome back. In this video, let's learn about the different tree traversal techniques. Traversing a tree simply means visiting every node in the tree. Linear data structures like arrays, stacks, queues, and linked lists have only one way to read the data. But a hierarchical data structure like a tree can be traversed in different ways. Generally, there are two widely used ways for traversing trees. Depth first search or DFS and breadth first search or BFS. In this video, let's focus on depth first search and learn about breadth first search in the next video. The DFS algorithm starts at the root node and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. So we need to visit the root node, visit all the nodes in the left subtree and visit all the nodes in the right subtree. Depending on the order in which we do this, there can be three types of DFS traversals. The three types are pre-order, in-order and post-order. Let's understand the steps and code to implement each one of them. Let's begin with pre-order traversal. The algorithm for pre-order traversal is as follows. Read the data of the node, visit the left subtree, visit the right subtree. Let's understand these steps with an example. We have a binary search tree with five nodes. Here is how pre-order traversal works. We start from the root node. Step one, read the data of the node. We get 10. Step two, visit the left subtree. So read the data of the left child, which is five. Once again, visit left subtree. Read the data of the left child, which is three. There is no further left subtree so visit the right subtree of 5. This will read 7. Subtree with 5 as the root node is completely traversed. Go 1 up and visit the right subtree of 10. Read the data and we get 15. All the nodes have been visited and 10, 5, 3, 7 and 15 is the pre-order traversal for our binary search tree. Hopefully, you've understood the algorithm. If you have, let's head back to Replit and write the code. Now, DFS tree traversals are very simple because of recursion. Let's begin by creating a method called preorder, which accepts the root node. Within the method, we check if the tree is not empty. So if root exists, we follow the steps in our algorithm. Begin by reading the node value. So console log root dot value. Next, process the left subtree. We rely on recursion for this. This dot preorder root dot left. We are recursively traversing the smaller left subtree. Once that is done, visit the right subtree. So this dot preorder root dot right. And that is all there is to it. Let's verify if it works as expected. Scroll down and make sure the same five nodes have been inserted. Let's insert three and seven. Now call BST dot preorder and we pass in the root node. Run the code and we see the log in the console. 10, 5, 3, 7, 15. This is the same as what we have written in our slide. Pre-order method works as expected. Now, if this is clear, let's proceed to in-order traversal 
which is a slight variation of pre-order. The algorithm for in-order traversal is as follows. Visit the left subtree, read the data of the node, visit the right subtree. Let's understand these steps with an example. Using the same binary search tree as a reference, here is how in-order traversal works. We start from the root node. Step 1, visit the left subtree. That brings us to node 5. Visit the left subtree once again. That brings us to node 3. This node does not have a left subtree, so read the data. No right subtree either, so go back to the parent. For 5, left subtree has been visited, so step 2, read the node 5. Next, step 3, visit the right subtree of 5. Node 7 has no left subtree, so read its value. It does not have any right subtree either, so go back to the parent. Left subtree of the root node has been visited. Now we read the root node's value. 10. Next, we visit the right subtree. There is only one node and no further left subtrees to visit, so read the node value of 15. There is no right subtree to visit either. At this stage, all the nodes have been visited and 3, 5, 7, 10, 15 is the in-order traversal for our binary search tree. Hopefully, you've understood the algorithm. If you have, let's head back to Replit and write the code. Let's begin by creating a method called inOrder, which accepts the root node. Within the method, we check if the tree is not empty. So if root exists, we follow the steps in our algorithm. Begin by visiting the left subtree. This dot in order root dot left. Next, read the node value. So console dot log root dot value. Finally, visit the right subtree. This dot in order root dot right. Really simple as you can see. Let's verify if it works as expected. I'm going to change pre-order to in order and run the code. We have 3, 5, 7, 10 and 15, which is what we have written in our slide as well. So in order method works as expected. If this is clear, let's proceed to post order. I'm going to be fairly quick with this one as you should probably have an idea by now. The algorithm is as follows. Visit the left subtree, visit the right subtree, read the data of the node. And for this traversal, I will not be walking you through the example. This time it's an exercise for you. Please spend five minutes coming up with the expected output. Pause the video and I will reveal what the output is for you to compare. All right, the output is 3, 7, 5, 15, and 10. Let me know in the comments section if you've got the same output. If you have, let's head back to Replit and write the code. First order accepts the root node. And within the method body, If the root node exists, recursively visit the left subtree Recursively visit the right subtree and finally read the node value Let's call this method and run the code bst.postorder Run the code and we see 3, 7, 5, 
15 and 10. This is the same as what we have in our slide. So that is about the DFS tree traversal techniques with a binary search tree. In the next video, let's take a look at BFS traversal. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.